too, motherfucker. Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, Trip Gaming. In today's video, uh, we're going to go straight into it because the deck really, really excited me. It is... We are playing... We are bringing back Trains from the Dead. Uh, the new Infinite Track cards that got released in the set that's coming out tomorrow or the day after. Whatever the hell that's card, that set's coming out. Uh, Infinity Chases, whatever. Uh, a new archetype got released. Infinite Track, etc., etc. Has amazing, amazing, amazing synergy with Trains as well as Cyber Dragons. So this is my... Infinite Track, Cyber Dragon Train deck. Enjoy greatness. It actually worked out incredibly. Uh, this video is for Lil Goat on my stream. And, uh, donated for me to make this. Friendly reminder, guys, before we get into the video, is we do PayPal requests to make any deck you want amazing on our stream. So do check out the stream. Don't forget to subscribe. And every video I broke, uh, the last 10 videos, we broke in some amazing decks. They're all in the description. You want to check it out. So enjoy the video. We're going to go straight into it. Enjoy greatness. Trains are back. Choo choo, motherfucker. Choo choo deck. Choo choo dog deck. Oh shit. You are, you know, we are building choo choo deck. We are on my stream right now. Probably gonna get cooked by that right there. Choo choo, man. Everyone in chat, say what's up. This is choo choo, motherfucker. We're building this deck right now. Choo choo. Chat's going off. Trains, baby. We're building trains. We are building uh, amazing, amazing train, cyber dragon. Infantrack deck with the release of the Infantrack cards, the synergy of this deck's amazing. Also, with Kaiju's be, uh, Jizakuru being both a machine and a level 10, and with Cyber Dragon Core being able to search the machine, the, the Jizakuru, and give you a Mega Fleet at the same time, so give you both a Mega Fleet and a Jizakuru. Like, uh, this deck's uh, the synergy is amazing. So, trains are back, baby. Or I don't think they were ever relevant, but uh, trains are a big fan favorite, and we mix it with another fan favorite, Cyber Dragons. And the new infinite, infinite track cards that come out, you got yourself an amazing deck. Now, we didn't want to cut it to 40. There's so many good cards you want to play. And to be able to go second, it's a go second deck. It OTKs them into oblivion. We have 21 go second cards. Shout out to the chat. This deck was requested by uh, Goat, Lil Goat. Lil Goat's his name, Lil Goat. We are going to show you guys. Choo, choo, motherfucker. All right, that's our deck. Let's go. So... Uh, the list is very simple. It, it's made, honestly, crafted to perfection. We tested a lot of this on our stream. Uh, crafted to perfection, if I'm being honest here. Like, triple heavy freight train hurricane, triple bullet train. These six give are the level nines that you add for multiple ways. So you have uh, five revolving switchyards and those six. There are 11 free special summon level nine from your hand. Uh, you search those uh, as well. Another thing to know, I'll talk about at the very end, but the new infantry shot cards... Uh, offers so much to this deck. Now, next you play three Railroad Stampede, which is also really, really good, but requires you to have a, 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 one of the uh, machines in your graveyard, Earth Machine in your grave. So, triggering a lot of discard effects and revolving switchyard twin twister that have so much synergy, both going first and second, you get to resolve that effect. So, uh, we play, look at this before we get to the rest, like three, six, uh, three, six, seven, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21. We play 21 go second cards that are also offensive. So you clear a board, you clear parts of their board, and then you put up some offense. That's why I love about this deck. The synergy is just beautiful. So when you go second, the opponent puts up some board, and it, this deck absolutely obliterates Sky Striker, by the way. Like, it's not even, like, it's not even fun. Like, it just obliterates them. And it clears all the links on a Salamander board extremely easily. So this deck's honestly, like, really so, so, so good against the meta. And really does not search that often. Uh, the, it searches a little bit, but you don't need to activate the switch yards, or you don't need to activate the searcher of the, the harvester. They don't that mandatory, and it can actually OTK uh, thunderboards very, very easily, like very easily. It's actually a really good meta call right now. Uh, it could have trouble against decks like Pendulum or like a Floodgate deck, perhaps, or it could have trouble against uh, random decks that won't let you. Actually, not even. As long as you go, like, even against fun game decks, they're all 3,000 attack beaters. Like, uh, it's actually really good. It's overall just a really good meta call, I think. A really good meta call right now. Uh, if you guys want more videos on the future about duels, I'll show you guys. But very typically, it goes second. It clears every interruption your opponent has, about 21 go second cards. You nightmare them before you do some plays. And uh, you uh, OTK with Leeb. You go Gustav after you get rid of all their interruptions very easily. Very, very, very easily. You go Gustav, and then you go into Lieb, uh, which uh, does 6,000 damage and can attack all monster your opponent or most monster your opponent controls, depending how you do the combo. And your your main deck really clears all the interruptions your opponent has. Like, 
with this, also clear, you go double rank 9 and your opponent start with Nightmares. It's amazing. Uh, uh, the reason other Cyber Dragons, by the way, is uh, Cyber Dragons turn into a level 5 or a level 10, since Mega Fleet's level 10. And we play Machine Duplication. Thanks to the Harv the Infantry cards are 500 attack. So now you have 3, 6, 9 plus uh, Urgent to Schedule, which is busted. You have 12 uh, targets for Machine Duplication with switch yard being able to get other stuff like just this card this deck's broken this deck's honestly so broken it's so good it's such a underrated meta call and one more shout out to our stream right out here choo choo bro this deck is so good now uh we're gonna go on to the rest of it triple cyber dragon core cyber dragon core is arguably the best card in this deck what cyber dragon core does is it gives you an option for level five or level nine why the reason why level five is important is there's a new infantry XYZ, which what it does is two level five monsters, detach one material, add an earth machine from your deck to your hand or send it to the grave. So you get the search, you are free level nine special summons, uh, or machine special summons, or you can search the infantry, but 99% of the time you're searching the free level nine summon, the train summons. So the infantry have such amazing synergy with it, and Cyber Dragon is having the option of being level five or level nine, uh, also really help with the synergy. And Core gives you the option of it gives you a Mega Fleet, a level 10, and it gives you a uh, Jizakaru, which is amazing because you tribute one card that your opponent controls and your opponent can't stop you. They won't even see it coming that you're searching a Jizakaru. And it also gives you a machine for Summon Sword to target. And Summon Sword is amazing because the second you get two level 9s, two level 9s are going to pop two cards your opponent controls and inflict the uh, attack 6,000 twice with Underclock also uh, lowering the attack. Uh, and it's, like, it's so, 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 so good. Uh, next we play three Harvester, three Trencher. These are six of the new Infinite Tractor cards. Uh, Infinite, Infinite Track, whatever the hell. R offers so much for the deck. So what Harvester does, uh, Stratos for Infinite Track. So if this card is no more special, add an Infinite Track monster. What's crazy is that Urgent Schedule, uh, the train card, can special out Harvester. So you have six Harvesters in the deck. And when you resolve Urgent Schedule or a Duplication, it's honestly just game. It, it's an auto win. It's plus Kajillion. Uh, and what Harvester does is get you uh, adds you an Infinite Track monster from your deck to your hand, which uh, leads to the other card, Infinite Tractor Trencher, which is a level five. And what this does is Tribunal Earth Machine Monster, typically the level two, which you search it from, specially. And then when this card's uh, in the graveyard, banish it, special summon uh, Infinite Track from your grave. So it's a free Link Two, which you're gonna really be needing for your plays. And uh, the synergy is amazing, and it's also a machine duplicate target, and it's a one card. Uh, Either Infinity, if you want some interruption up to negate a hand trap or something, or or a one card uh, a Rever Storm, which gets searches you whatever you need, like I said for the combo. Uh, you play three three, it's amazing. And drawing a trencher by itself is also really good. And overall, it is really really good. You want more level fives, you want options level fives and all that. Instant Fusion is another card I'm debating playing. Uh, Instant Fusion is also really good in the deck as well, but we opted for mind control instead to save slots in the extra deck. Uh, the extra deck's not super tight, but it's a little bit tight. Uh, there's a lot of random monster cards you want to play that are just overall good. Uh, so we don't pull, uh, we, we didn't opt for Instant Fusion, but Instant Fusion's another card. Any card is both offensive and defense is a card you want to play. Uh, I might even op opt for it and play Thousand Hunter Strict. Even a Panzer Dragon to opt for level 5. And it comes up a lot. Uh, next, you play one of each kind. Just a card is obviously the best, but you don't have to play more than one. Because you search it or special it with Slumber anytime you need. Slumber's busted in this deck because it not just clears your board, the opponent's board, but it also, uh, it's an easy, first of all, against Salamagri, it's an easy negate that they must negate, but it also gives you the main part of level 10 machine, Kaiju, which is uh, the main part of Slumber. Amazing. Machine Dupe, busted in this deck. Urgent Schedule, for those who don't know what this does, uh, you, you go second in this deck, by the way, like I said, to OTK your opponent to Oblivion, and uh, Special Summon 1 level 4 lower Earth, and 1 level 5 or higher Earth machine. Uh, so 99% of the time you're summoning a Harvester, and you're summoning up one of your level 9 machines. And we don't play Express Knight because Express Knight is literally shit. Uh, literally Garnet. Literally normal summon. Like literally Gem Knight Garnet is level 9. Uh, you don't need that. You have enough ways to go level 9 or level 10 or whatever. My bad. Level, I keep saying level 9 in this deck sometimes. But they're all level 10. So it's just so, 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 so good. Uh, another thing to note. Uh, Harvester can also target one monster to make both of them that same level. Uh, so that's also why you can bring up I, one second instead of Cubungus, we're gonna be playing a uh, uh, the insect one uh, because you want sometimes you're gonna have a level eight you're gonna draw two of your kaiju's 
and you're gonna have an option for having level eight on board, and this could make uh, both of them level ten. So having level eight on board also really good. Uh, triple machine, do triple orders, schedule triple uh, five revolving switch yards. Uh, amazing, amazing card. The main part of this card is just discard one card to add. You have a lot of cards that are grave effects. So for example, if you open core or if you open uh, stampede, you kind of want to. You have nine normal summons in this deck, but if they're in the graveyard, if any card of these are in the graveyard, they also get an effect off. So you want a lot of discard outlets. You have eight discard outlets, which is enough. And uh, for your nine normal summons, which uh, really you only care about the six normal summons, and uh, you simply with switch yards effect or twister, you discard core to add a card, then banish core to send cyber dragon, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I have an option level five as well. Uh, honestly, really, really good. Uh, and what switch yard does as well, you don't use the, the, second, the first part of it because you want to OTK. But the other part of switch yard is that you're uh, you can't do damage that turn, so you don't use that part. You the special summon part, you really only use switch yards the fact that it gives you a free machine to give you more plays. It gives you any uh, one of your free special summon machines. The machines are just free summons. They're like a free uh, danger or whatever. They summon themselves for free, but they have other effects which are very important. Uh, this one pops the card when it gets uh, detached from X Y Z, and this one adds you a machine at the end, which is also extremely important. Uh, Triple Twin Twister, like I said, you just want more back row. More cards good going second. And Twister's offensive as well because you discard one of your grave effects or cards that are good in the grave. Triple Slumber, like I said, offensive, defensive. Mind Control, offensive, defensive. You could play Instant Fusion instead of Mind Control. But something about the ratios of this at 45 and is the amount of machines that are in the deck versus how many going second cards are in the deck. But the going second cards are also machines, which is amazing, or get to a machine. Uh, it just worked out to be a perfect ratio. So I didn't want to toy with it. And there's no reason to take a card in your action. Instant Fusion is still a great card to play in this deck. So Instant Fusion will be the next card I would put in. Uh, in fact, I might... Yeah, no, nah, I don't want to put it in. It's fine. It's perfect how it is. It, you know, there's no reason to take my extra deck slot. The extra deck is very important. Uh, every card in it. In fact, you know what? No. Nah, you know what? We're going to take a Dragon Psych right now. Dragon Psych, you really go into. There's some plays making uh, uh, with uh, Harvester and making it level 7 with uh, Trencher. But we're going to play... We're going to play a little Instant Fusion here. We're literally, as we're doing this, we're going to change the deck up very, very slightly and put in some Instant Fusions. I think it's just too good not to play. Uh, we're going to go trip, double Instant Fusion and we're going to take out uh, a Twin Twister. That, that's totally fine. Uh, an issue with Twin Twister is going to get negated a lot of the times. So I think this is beauty. We want to play Link Rebo. Uh, it's not Link Rebo. I got that mess up, messed up. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Uh, it literally just gets a free monster. So it's like Mind Control except... Uh, gets anything, but again, you can't activate more. You don't want to see two instant fusion in hand. Uh, so then blow. <laughs> I didn't mean to blow out you guys, I meant to blow out the, some random uh, beard hair was on my uh, phone. Next, in terms of the extra deck, we got uh, one Ganga Ganga Day. What this does essentially is detach one card, inflict thousand damage, target one card, your point control, destroy it. So it's a free uh, pop, and you're gonna XYZ over it anyways. And then another one is, uh, this one makes unaffectable card effects, which is very important. Uh, for Sometimes you're going for OTK. Uh, Gustav, inflict 2000. And then all three of them go into the main card of the deck, which is Lieb. Uh, if you cherries this, you can't do much in this deck except attack, attack. But it's fine because Lieb is so good in itself. And no one on earth is, is going to si uh, side cherries for this card. Uh, unless you're playing a mirror match and they just happen to have cherries by accident. But for another uh, deck. But what this does, you can make a 6,000 attack and attack twice uh sometimes three times if you do your combo correctly and uh, it's so good like six thousand damage attack two times attack three times easy win and you simply overlay over a rank 10 xyz to summon it next uh we play two of these simply because a seven uh you only play so basically seven sins you could summon it by uh xyz something over a rank 10 or 11 dark xyz you control and it's just there to take care of thunderboards so this alone destroys an entire thunder banish as many special monster your opponent controls and then attach uh, to this card. Like, uh, it just clears all the Colossuses, which is why you need to play it. And you just play this because it's the only uh, level 10. You can just go straight into it. Uh, next is you play one Reverse Storm to search your card. Infinity, a lot of times you want to go into Infinity with your Cyber Dragons and your uh, lots of ways to go into uh, Harvester and Trencher. And a lot of these cards the, in, their, in the like, uh, Switch Yard could summon out a lot of them. Uh, Urgent Schedule summons all of them. So it's really, really good. Uh... Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn, Underclock for OTKs with a 6,000 attack guy. Summon Sork, 1 Mega Fleet, 1,000 under strike. Deck's honestly amazing. You have a few. What I love about it, there's so much room for creativity in this deck. Uh, you could play so many cards that are just so, 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 so good together. Shout out again, uh, Lil Goat. Uh, thank you for the 
thank you for this. And lastly, guys, uh, anyways, after reading the rest of this chat, this deck's so, so good, guys. True, true motherfuckers. Hope you enjoy this deck. See you guys in the next video. Peace.